in this video, we're going to have a look at some statistics topics here. So the mean, the standard deviation, and the variance of some data. And we're going to link it to a common IB maths exam question. So if I have some data, let's say one, two, three, four, and five. These were my five uh, results when I did some sort of experiment. I got a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. So firstly, the mean of this data, we've probably seen the word mean. The mean is just the average. So if I were to find the average or the mean of this data, I know that I can add them all up and divide it by how many terms there are. So the mean, which we can express as X with a little hat over the top, this will just be one plus two plus three plus four plus five. And we're going to divide this by how many terms there were, which there were five. And you could probably see that the mean will actually be three because it's, this is a symmetrical data set. So the mean will be equal to three. And I'm hoping that we have seen that before. Now, these new words, standard deviation and variance, what these words are linked to is they express the, or they look at the spread of the data, how spread out our data set is. So if we have a bunch of data that is pretty clumped up, they're all very close to each other, what we're going to get is we're going to get a small standard deviation and variance. But if the data is very spread out, and then we're going to have some values that are really small and really big, the standard deviation, the variance values get larger. So uh, a very basic definition of standard deviation and variance is the spread of the data. Now we don't need to uh, very often calculate the standard deviation and variance just by hand, we do get to use our calculator. So if we wanted to calculate the standard deviation of this uh, data set here, we can just grab our calculator. And if you have a TI Inspire uh, CX like this one here, you can just type in, this is in the uh, table section here. So uh, I've labeled my variable X and these are my scores, one down to five. And you can just go to menu, statistics, uh, calculations, this is one variable statistics with one list and out list we want to give it X. Okay, so it gives us our mean which was three and our standard deviation is this one here, it's this Sigma X, so 1.414 and in exact values the, the standard deviation for this is actually root two. If you did the formula, the standard deviation which is a sigma, will be root two or 1.41. And what our variance will be, the variance of a data set is just the standard deviation squared. So it's just going to be root two squared, which is going to be two. So that would be for our original data set. We would have a mean of three, a standard deviation of root two, and the variance is therefore just root two squared, which will be two. Okay, now what common IB questions then ask is they say, if this original data set, if some constant value was added to all of the terms, so a constant, constant value, a constant value of, and let's say 10 is added to every term, to every term. Okay, so what will our new data set look like? Well, we just need to add 10 to every term. So it'll be 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then the follow on questions, they say, well, now with our new data set, what is the new mean? And the new mean, if we just add a constant to every term will be the old mean plus that constant. And that's pretty clear here with this example. It'll just be 13. So the new mean will just be the old mean of three plus the constant term of 10. So our mean will be 13. And then they often ask, well, what's the new standard deviation? This is where you need to understand what standard deviation means. Standard deviation means the spread of the data. And even though the data has changed from here to here, has our data become more spread or less spread? And it actually hasn't because they're all, they're all 
one away from each other. This 11 is two away from the mean of 13. This 14 is one away from the mean of 13. So the data actually hasn't been spread out more. So the standard deviation does not change when a constant is added to a data set. And therefore, the variance also won't change. The variance will just be two. So that's the first rule of thumb there. If a constant is added, the mean is added by the constant, uh, but the standard deviation, the variance, which is the spread, that does not change. Okay, but the more tricky question is, if a if a multiple is is uh, if there's a constant multiple to every term, so constant multiple multiple, let's say of ten to every term, or they might say each value in the original data set was multiplied by ten. Our new data will be. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Now, if we want to find the new mean, the new mean will just be 30, and that's the rule of thumb. If we have an original data set which is multiplied by something, 10, uh, the mean will also just be multiplied, so that will be 30. Now, will the standard deviation still be root 2? Well, our data actually has been spread out. They're no longer one away from each other, now they're 10 away from each other. So if our data is multiplied by a, 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 a constant here of 10, the standard deviation does get multiplied by uh, that constant of 10. So the new standard deviation will be 10 root 2, because we've multiplied the original standard deviation by 10. And therefore, the new variance will be 10 root 2 squared. Now we have to square the 10, which is 100, and square the root 2, which is 2. So it'll be 10, 100 times 2, so 200 is the variance. Okay, so this is a good example. Now, this is a very common question in IB Math exams. And what we need to take out of this is if we have an original data set and a constant is added to every term, the mean will add uh, by that constant, but the spread of the data, which is our standard deviation and variance, uh, that won't change. But if there's a multiple, the mean does change by the multiple and the standard deviation does. And the tricky IB questions, they might not actually ask for this, they'll just straight away ask for the new variance. And you might need to think, oh, the variance actually doesn't multiply by 10. In this case, it multiplied by 100. So it's actually going to be 10 squared because the variance is the standard deviation squared. Okay, good luck.